Hi, my name is Owen Thornton and this is my V-blog, which goes with my word blog at Ontario Crafts, all one word, dot wordpress dot com. Today I'd like to talk to you about a great and exciting place right here in my hometown of London, Ontario. It's called Union 10. Union 10 is a distillery and a restaurant. Uh, it also has a uh, area for um, uh, performances as well. So when you uh, when we when COVID nineteen is no longer uh, restricting our movements and uh, preventing us from doing all the things we would like to do, um, you could go there as well and uh, be entertained while dining out while uh, imbibing on some really great and unique products. This video blog is, and my web blog as well, I suppose, really, is uh, one way of correcting two errors from two really great books. One is uh, Canadian Spirits. Uh, this is a great book on all of the places in Canada that uh, you can purchase um, and, 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 and go and get uh, great uh, distillery products, um, liqueurs and uh, vodkas, gins, um, uh, whiskeys and all those sorts of things, wonderful things, but uh, both uh, Canadian Spirits and the Definitive Guide to Canadian Distilleries missed Union 10 and uh, and as, as a matter of fact Union 10 and the one that you're the video that you're going to see in the next report uh, another great little place in London Ontario a distillery uh, which had to be around when these two books were written and I think they were 2019 and 2020 um, and I just don't understand how both Union 10 and then and the other um, distillery uh, work completely miss. I just don't get it. So we're going to correct that wrong and we're going to get a little bit of uh, press up there for Union 10. So it, it is at 656 Dundas Street and obviously and I'm going to show you a picture here uh, of the outside of the front of the building the photograph provided by Union 10 and I'm also going to show you a picture of the back of the building. Now what's kind of interesting I believe Dundas Street is currently uh, under construction um, it is a season of summer, and so uh, in London, Ontario, it's also called the season of construction. And so uh, Dundas Street is uh, pretty much blocked up. However, uh, you can access uh, Union 10 off the back uh, as the building runs through. The building and the property runs through to the street on the other side, on the uh, north side of Dundas Street. And I'm going to show you a picture of the back of the building there as well. When we went, we went just previously to the uh, Christmas lockdown in 2020. And I know that this is 2021, but I write my blogs uh, about four months out in advance. So um, I skipped over a few, as a matter of fact, a few places that I wanted to write about just to kind of get Union 10 into the queue here. So yes, uh, we went to visit there just at Christmas time. We purchased uh, five products. I'm going to show you a picture of all five. And I'm going to try to list them all, but you know what it's like when you're under pressure in photographs and in uh, a video, you remember four or five. Maybe I'll remember three or five. Who knows? But we got uh, the uh, Christmas cream. Uh, we got um, a... Uh, um, what else? A ginger, a ginger lime angry goose vodka. We got a regular vodka. We got a gin. And I'm going to tell you a funny story about that in a minute. So that's four things. And we got candy cane, um, a liqueur, which was essentially a, a made from uh, their vodka as well. So, uh, so we got the uh, the ginger, the ginger lime angry angry goose, the regular vodka, the gin, uh, the the cream liqueur, and the candy cane. Let me start with the candy cane because I think that's for me. Um, the least favorite of all of them. I really wanted to like that and for me it wasn't quite right the peppermint flavor that I thought it was going to be and um, the uh, texture of the uh, beverage was a little bit um, too thick for me. It was a fun, it's a funny thing to say that you didn't like the texture of a drink but it was really kind of rich. Now going from that one to the most popular one of the uh, five things that we purchased that day was the cream liqueur and I have to say that uh, my wife Carrie is a, uh, a Bailey's lover and so any cream liqueurs that I bring home for us uh, has to compare against Bailey's that's that's sort of her gold standard and when we brought the cream liqueur home from Union 10 
Um, that was a new instant fave, something we would go back and get uh, uh, on a regular basis for her. She really liked it. So they, they're doing a bang-up job there. The other thing that we got, uh, the funny story about the gin that I mentioned is, is that when I I went to write about um, uh, Union 10 sometime after I, we had been there, um, I we could not remember drinking the gin at all. And the gin is gone. So uh, what, we're, what we're saying is, is the gin must have been really good because uh, it, uh, it didn't make uh, anywhere close to the time of the writing of this, uh, of my blog and uh, of this video as well. So um, uh, it must have been sensational because it, it just disappeared very quickly for us. Um, I don't, we don't drink a lot of vodka, so the vodkas are both still here. Uh, as I showed you the bottles here. And I wanted to show you the sort of the bottles and the shape of them. Everything is in that kind of a shaped bottle. Now, uh, so so we've and I've tasted the vodka a little bit and the uh, and the ginger lime angry uh, goose vodka. That one is uh, great for uh, um, uh, making a Moscow mule. So if you wanted to make a Moscow mule, that has a lot of the flavors already built in uh, to help you enjoy a great Moscow mule. So, uh, and before I go any further, I wanted to let you know that they have. 16 products currently on their website. Some of them are uh, sort of like a pre-mixed uh, drink. Some of them are, again, the products that I've already mentioned. And there are other products out there that uh, we have not yet even had a chance to try. One of them, which looks really interesting, is their uh, s'mores liqueur. So obviously a, uh, a chocolate a grain wafer um, and marshmallow kind of flavor that must be going on there which, as I said, looks really great and we haven't had a chance to see it. It wasn't available for us at the time when we were there. Now let me tell you a little bit about the experience when we went in just before Christmas. There was some seating uh, available to the people in the restaurant. That was not what we were there for. We were there to pick up some uh, some sample bottles to, just, to try out uh, Union 10 and see what they were like. So we went in. The retail operation uh, is at the front of the building. And as you'll see in the picture here, it is going to be on the um, far right of me is where the, the front of the retail part of the operation. So it's actually the front facing Dundas Street. And um, we went into the building. There were a number of people already lined up because of COVID. So there was only one uh, family unit allowed in the small retail space uh, at a time. So we walked in and lined up sort of mid store um, and going forward. So we had to go enter into the building a little bit and then turn around and come back to line up to, to get it to the line for the retail section. One of the things that we were doing then was great was we were standing beside a great big uh, beautiful glass wall and, and on the other side was the distillery operation right there. So it is uh, an active distillery and someone was actually uh, hand bottling um, cream liqueur at that time. And so this is a small batch um, uh, small operation uh, which allows them of course to experiment and to have upwards of 16 different kinds of products very easily because they can make a small batch clean up turn around and start making something else so it's a really interesting place from that perspective so we were standing there we were looking at the still and the person obviously uh, bottling the cream liqueur and then we kept moving forwards we ended up walking right past the great big beautiful pizza oven which was there and people were in the restaurant ordering it and pizzas were going in the oven and coming out of the oven and the aroma was there and i have to tell you that it just looked and smelled really great and if you ever wanted to try going to union 10 for pizza i i mean i have not tasted it but uh simply by uh standing there and looking at it while i was walking towards the destination of the retail store uh, it was a Oh, I'm so hungry. So it looks really great, and you should really try the pizza there. Uh, that's a recommendation. Just, just looks sensational. So we went into the the retail operation. They had gear there as well, and as I said, lots of different kinds of products, different ones than what I saw on their website now. And a very lovely spot. The uh, building itself on the inside is uh, uh, lots of uh, bricks and natural wood, dark wood trim. Uh, the great big long bar rail on one spot there. I think maybe I'd be able to post a picture of what I'm talking about now. Um, I think they post they provided me with a picture of their bar as well, so I'll, I'll look for that. If not, sorry, you're not going to be able to see it. You'd have to go and go with a description here. 
And then uh, at the back of the store, which of course we didn't see, we didn't get in that far, and we came in the front because we were able to, uh, we didn't see the back, and this is a beautiful uh, patio area out back, a uh, really nice relaxing area, which looks to me like uh, when you want to go and you're sitting outside because of COVID-19 restrictions, uh, more places to sit out there, uh, fresh air, uh, lots of room to move around and uh, feel safe while uh, you're having a, perhaps a great piece of pizza. So Union 10 is a really nice little place. Uh, well, no, not a little. A really nice big place here in London, Ontario. Unsung and I hope unknown, but not quite so much unknown as it was just a few minutes ago because I've been talking about it for a while. And I want to encourage all of you to go and give it a try. Uh, go to the retail space. The uh, bottles are often in the 375 mil categories, uh, smaller, so that makes uh, buying spirits um, which are unknown to you a little bit uh, 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 less price sensitive because you're not buying a, a 750 mil bottle. And uh, these are artisanal uh, products, so they are a little bit pricier than run-of-the-mill um, vodkas and gins, those kinds of things. Uh, but then you have to realize that they're making very small batches and they're uh, doing it by hand and I think doing it by doing it with a lot of love as well. The last thing I want to say is that while we're in line, a gentleman walked by and I think what he was doing was he was carrying the freshly bottled cream liqueurs from the distillery operation past the lineup that was going into the retail space and into the retail space. So I stopped him and said, hi, how are you and how long have you been around? It's been a couple of years. So that sort of thing. Anyways, it turns out that this person was, uh, and I didn't ask any more questions, uh, silly me, uh, but was one of the owners of Union 10. Very personable individual. When we went into the retail space, uh, that individual was also very personable, very helpful. The people we saw that were working around the pizza ovens, uh, congenial. So it's a very friendly, warm environment. And I encourage you to take a look at Union 10 at 656 Dundas Street, London, Ontario. And if you can't access it through Dundas Street, take a look at going in from the north side of the building and uh, uh, going in the back way and having a great chance and a great experience. And hopefully down the road, we'll be able to all go and listen to a new group or band singing there, uh, performing there. Thank you very much. This is Owen Thornton for OntarioCrafts.wordpress.com. And you have a great day. And uh, look forward to the other um, distillery that I'm going to talk to you about in my next video blog. Take care. Bye for now.